Welcome back. It's 444 weather impact alert for your Friday as we do track more heavy rain in the forecast, not only today, but also tonight and even into parts of Saturday morning. I want to start with the next seven days to show you what the rain chances look like because the entire weekend's not a washout. Sunday does look mostly dry. Even Saturday afternoon is trending drier, but the next week more moisture moving back in. In fact, it's the same moisture we're dealing with now that we've been dealing with for over a week. All right, this is Invest 90. It's an unorganized area of low pressure. Winds really haven't been picking up with this. We do see some broad spin in here. So regardless of development here again, it's going to be a big rainmaker. You can see there that rain extending well away from where that thing is trying to spin. So that's what we're watching. Some very heavy rain sitting just off of our coast this morning. Now it is going to be a wet drive. You're going to have to give yourself plenty of time here. Luckily, the intensity of the rain in the immediate New Orleans Metro has been low enough that we haven't seen street flooding issues, but occasionally the intensity will pick up for the morning drive. And I mean all across from Slidell to New Orleans to Mandeville across the causeway through the spillway there. You're going to run into a wet drive this morning. Now this is really what I want to watch this big heavy batch of rain that's coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. We have a new flash flood warning that's been issued for St. Mary Parish. As that heavy rain continues to move in, you can see there a steady rain falling in Homa and Thibodeau. But if that heavy right there starts to move in, that would be your flood problem. Two to four inches an hour with some of those tropical showers. So here we go. Our area of low pressure staying to the south of us, but keeping us with the tropical rains all afternoon. Intensity will come up and down as we head into tonight. More heavy rain at times. Make sure to park the car high and dry tonight just in case. And then more rain into Saturday morning. We got the Saints kickoff run tomorrow morning. It's looking wet. And then as we get into Saturday afternoon, finally seeing the rain move south, cold front move in, that will bring a much drier day on Sunday. So rainfall totals really are going to be a bigger problem the closer you get to the Gulf of Mexico, less of a problem the further north you get. I think the flood risk is quite low on the north shore, at least north of I-12. But once you get closer to I-12 and south shore, that flood risk will begin to increase. And then once we get into, well, the next three days, you total it all together, we could see some very high totals on our coast, nearly 8 to 10 inches in spots. Now we do have a persistent wind. Minor coastal flooding will continue. Those low lying roads are likely going to stay underwater through this afternoon during high tide. That includes eastern sides of Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Maurepaul, uh, eastern parts of St. Bernard, Hancock County, East Bank of Plaquemines and down into Grand Isle. Roads are going to have a little water on them. Elsewhere in the tropics, not worried about these. This one's interesting because it's just going to add more moisture to the Gulf of Mexico, and that will play a role in our forecast next week. So all this tropical moisture, it does get pushed to the south for about a day on Sunday, but then here it comes back into the area as we head into next week. And yes, we got more rain in the forecast. So 100% chance of rain today for our weather impact alert. Watching for flooding rains that will continue into tonight and Saturday morning, and then the rain will move south during Saturday afternoon. Most of Sunday looks dry. I've got a 20% chance of rain, mainly for some coastal showers. St. Sunday is not looking like a bad one, though, and then next week we'll be watching for additional showers and